Hello everyone, I'm Steve Malfanger, editor of Arizona Key Travel Magazine, and today I am stopping by Hot Air Expeditions. Here with me is Amanda and Stephanie Long, co-owners of this wonderful company that's been family-owned and in business for over 23 years. Thank you so much, ladies, for having me come up. We've got this awesome inflation going on behind us. So Amanda, if you could just share with everyone what you experience when you actually get up in one of these balloons. <laughs> It's unlike anything I've ever experienced. <laughs> a lot of people talk about it like it's like floating in the air. It's really like, you know, lifting off and there's no sense of motion or anything like that. It's unlike anything. Some people say it's like floating on a magic carpet awesome. ride. Awesome. So basically how it works is we go ahead and shovel you out to our launch site where we are now. Okay. From there you'll go ahead and watch the inflation of the balloon to kind of see everything come to life. <laughs> and then uh, once everything's good to go, the pilot invites you to join him in the basket and you'll soar as high as 5,000 feet and then we we'll have to just go over some of the Saguaros and the pilot will point cool. out different things to see around the valley. Awesome. Of course, the bench trip of the wildlife, plant life. Awesome. And uh, I'll call in here greeted with toast of champagne and a hot catered breakfast by the Sun Well, I mean, that just sounds great. It was great seeing you guys. I'm going to jump on the plane. No, I'm just kidding. But, no, that's awesome. And I'm so fortunate I was able to go up in one of your balloons and it is truly a magical experience. Um, what are some of the myths that people think? You even mentioned, you know, the sensation of motion. What, what do you find that people maybe, you know, don't need to worry about when it comes to ballooning? Um, no, a lot of people do worry about um, the sensation of motion. So there's no sensation of motion. You really do, um, a lot of people will be in the basket and they'll be holding on all the time. <laughs> and then, right when they start to take off of it, oh my gosh, we're off the ground. And, and don't even know the truth. And um, one of our clients are also afraid of heights. Oh my gosh. And he, uh, he won't even get on a ladder to hang up his Christmas lights. But yeah, he'll, he'll go up and 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 he'll go up sensation of motion and it's so peaceful. Okay, so we have, we have another minute. How about some fun science facts? How do these things actually get in the air? So who's my science group? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically how it works is hot air is actually lighter than cool air, okay? So what happens is we'll go ahead and inflate the balloon with some fans, get the envelope of the bat, okay? Of the balloon open. So that's that big part you see behind us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then once everything's good to go, the uh, pilot will inflate and uh, hit on the burner, okay? Oh, put the flame into the hot air balloon and it keeps the hot air in there and that's what causes it to rise. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, so cool. a lot of people are like, how does this work? Yeah, no, it really is amazing to <laughs> just <laughs> say, uh, you know, figure out all the science and stuff about it. Very, very, very cool. So to learn more about hot air expeditions, where should they go and visit? Yeah, well, you can go to this online, hotairexpeditions.com or also on all the social media channels, but give us a call, it's the best way at awesome. 4805026999. Wonderful, and you do sunrise? about Hot Air Expeditions, be sure to visit ArizonaKey.com. Just click on videos and media to learn more. Thank you again. I am thank so you. excited uh, to go up and go talk to the crew that's about to go up. And uh, thanks for watching.